we play. We fight. We conquer. Welcome back to the Freak Show. I'm your host, Bumpy McSquiggums, and today we're diving back on into Samurai Warriors 5. And it's all about the stables right now, apparently. So we've uh, we've not been super successful in our last couple of attempts to accomplish things. We have been run off more than once, and that's not necessarily great. But, eh, we'll just have to see how we bounce back from it. To the stables. At the stables, you can do the following. Purchase, buy mounts, skill drills. Have your mounts acquire new skills and upgrade existing skills. Interesting. Equestrian drills, level up your mounts, sell, sell your mounts you recently, or sorry, you currently own. And uh, mount info, read more about your mounts. Okay, even if you don't ha own any mounts, you can still press the L2 call horse to call a mount on the battlefield. However, this mount cannot be upgraded. Okay, that's kind of neat. I like that. So I, I guess we don't have any? Unless we decide to buy one now, and we definitely have the money to do so. So we got Stone Hoof, we got Ashen Wind. Another stone hoof with, with swift wind attached to him. And we got ourselves Phantom Gray as a level 10 boy. I suppose we have to be level 10 for Phantom Gray. And he's probably something to do with the ultimate edition that we currently have. So. Power, endurance. So really this guy and, and this guy, the, the double stone hooves are basically the same except this one has swift wind already so it's kind of a no-brainer we go with this guy horse level increase training your mounts oh that's awesome mounts can gain experience by participating in battle and defeating enemies or by performing equestrian drills at the stables when a mount's experience reaches a certain amount the mount's level will increase that's pretty sick Leveling up will enhance a mount's abilities. On rare occasions, a mount may also acquire a new skill. Okay. Okay. Well, we have a single... Now, does this mount come with us every single time? Be coached. Mount info. Is this one going to come every... T uh, it, it's equipped to all of them. Okay, that was the, that was the question, I think. Or it could be equipped. Oh, it can be equipped to all of them. Oh, that's sick. I, I don't. Hmm. That's that's interesting. Your mount's abilities. I mean, ah, oh, here we go. Reduces damage and chance of falling when galloping. Why would he fall? Equip to all characters. Any equipped mounts will be automatically removed. So you can you can equip to all characters. And we can have up to five mounts. Uh, is there a benefit to have... Maybe like if one gets maxed out, I guess. Maybe equipping another one. Or hmm, I'm not really sure why you would want more than one mount if you can equip it to every officer. But I suppose we'll figure it out as we go. All right, uh, I'm fine with all that. You have unlocked Citadel Mode. In Citadel Mode, you can upgrade the buildings in my castle. Let's give it a go. Citadel Mode. C Citadel Mode. In Citadel Mode, you can obtain materials used to upgrade your buildings and unlock event scenes between characters. Upgrading your buildings has various benefits for a Muso Mode, including allowing you to further upgrade your characters and obtain better items. In addition, advancing through Muso mode will unlock various elements in Citadel mode. Enjoy playing in the various modes to keep progressing through the game. Oh, that's kind of cool. Defend your base and aim for the highest score. Well, you know what? Let's give it a shot. We just unlocked it. They suggest that we do it. Welcome back. Ah, this is your first time here, isn't it? Welcome to Citadel mode. They recommended we try it out. Let's give it a shot. In Citadel mode, you choose characters available to play in free mode and defend various locations against invading enemy forces. On each battlefield, you can obtain materials to upgrade your My Castle buildings. Hi. You'll, of course, need to develop your castle to withstand many fierce battles. But let us not forget about the very important facilities you can find within its walls. 
a castle and buildings. My castle serves as your base. Inside you'll find various buildings, including places to purchase weapons, items, mounts, and so on. Each building has a level, and increasing the building level has various effects. Yes. Well, that's enough of my blabbering. Select March, and let's move on to training. All right. All right, it's literally just training. Okay. Uh, rank rewards if you get a DC, B, A, or S. Okay, lumber, material, or sorry, mineral, and fabric. Learn the basic maneuvers while engaging in battle. All right, I'm here for it. What's going to happen? Friendship level. In Citadel mode, you can... Oh, that seems squished, doesn't it, that writing? Ugh, it's a little bit smaller than all the rest of the writing so far. Uh, in Citadel mode, you can increase friendship level between certain characters. To check character's uh, current friendship level, go to the select character menu or visit the Hermit's Retreat. The friendship level between two characters can be raised by having them fight together in a battle in Citadel mode. Once two characters reach max friendship level, uh, a special event scene will be unlocked at the Hermit's Retreat. Okay. So as it stands right now, we all have a little bit of little little shaky hands here with our main uh, our main boy uh, Nobunaga Oda. Uh, he's got a little bit with a guy at the bottom and Nobunaga. He just him. Okay, that's the daughter, and then that's the the bro, the bra. All right, um, so we can choose our main character, huh? You know what? Let's try Yatsu Tokugawa, and I think we're gonna maybe. Tr I really should be gaining friendship with uh, Nobunaga, to be honest. But I think we're gonna go with uh, Mitsuhide and see if we can't build a little bit of a relationship there. Is it silly to do? Probably. Are we going to do it anyway? Absolutely. Am I going to regret this? More than likely. The base is defended or the time limit is up and conditioned. Okay. The base falls. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, you know what? I don't think we've got to change anybody's equipment. Ayatsu. Ayatsu. Uh, we have anything better than that? I don't think we do. Oh, you know what? We we absolutely do. I forgot. Um, it's weird. You increase a sword's attack range. Okay. And partner Mitsuhide. Masterpiece. Uh, the katana, and we've got nothing else to, to try to replace it with. Okay. It looks like we could technically give him other weapons. Like the great spear, and so on and so forth. Might not be something that he's particularly adept at. But, you know, I'm okay with, I'm okay with sticking with what they, you know, their original weapons for now. We might play around with that later on down the road and see if we can mix and match a little bit. But I like the idea that everybody comes with a weapon that they're really uh, talented with or skilled with and that they're going to roll out with just that. Alright. I think we're good to go. Action information? Uh, it's, it's, we'll, we'll figure it out on the fly. Alright, let's begin the battle. Uh, okay. Go. Oh. Oh, that's cool. Cut down your enemy's name for the highest possible score in Citadel mode. The battle ends when either the following condition is met. All defend oh sorry, all enemies are defeated and time runs out. Uh, your base is protected by guards. If the guards are defeated, the enemy will be able to infiltrate your base and decrease its defenses. The battle will be lost if your base defenses reach zero. Defeat any enemies who approach your base and prevent it from falling. I do apologize. Reading's a little bit not great for me today. Well, other than just I'm bad at reading apparently, but. Uh, I do have a pretty bad headache today. But I was like, hey, you know what? It would be good on a bad headache day, beating up some people and making myself feel pretty powerful. So that's what we're doing here today. I've been looking forward to playing this, and I'm here to play it. Oh my god, a 2809 combo already? Look at this dude. 42, 40, okay. Okay. Uh, defeating enemies in Citadel mode will increase your score. The points differ depending on the enemy unit. The stronger the enemy, the more points earned. You also get bonus points by making combos. Entering Rage Mode. 
So don't hold back. Now, I'm not necessarily very adept at the whole rage mode thing, so bear that in mind. I am trying to get our horse a little bit of love. I'm not going to do a lot of horse-based combat here, but I figure we could start off with it. Can we do it? We can't do any of the R1 stuff off the... There we go. All right, I think we accomplished a little bit there. All right, I am going to dismount if I can remember how to do that. There it is. Yeah. I was wondering if like we were gonna have to go take over some other enemy bases and such, but it doesn't look like that's the case. The second unit is advancing. Okay. Uh oh, there is kind of an enemy base looking thing going here. Go, 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 go. Oh, we fell short. Ha! Oh, oh I, I hit the... I don't know. Somehow I hit the wrong button there. I must have bumped the, uh... The touchpad, because I was trying to just do... I, I don't know why we're fighting away from the guy, but we are. Alright. There we go. All right, there. Dude tried. You saw that. You, he went crazy. Oh. The allied officers are in great peril. Rescue them. Okay. Objectives will pop up during battle in Citadel mode. Clear the objectives to earn points and gain extra time. All right. Horse is here. Can we finish these guys off? Unfortunately, we again we're just seeming to lack overall in power right now with this guy. So I think I will switch. Oh. Are, are they running past? Oh yeah, they're over here beating up our guys. What's going on? All right, can we? All right, we got our map. Uh, change command. Okay, I want you. Can I get him to defend the base? Or can I get him to maybe just head up there and then I can do that myself? All right. We'll do that, and I'll defend with uh, Mitsuhide. Definitely looks like our guards are losing horribly over here. But that's alright. We'll make it work. Alright, my guard friends. All right, let's get to it. L a little bit of the uh, the old onigiri there, and we're gonna get to hustling. Let's see if we can't make it up there in time to to help out. The third unit's advancing. I think we can probably make it in time. Let's see. Can we can we uh, try change command again now? So I know we're there. All right, I guess uh, we're, we're heading that way now. All right. Defeating the enemy commander. During battle, the enemy's commander may appear to mount a full-scale assault on your, on your allies. Defeating the commander will end the battle regardless of the time left on the clock. Keep, keep a close eye on the situation and aim for an even higher score. Are you, you're the wanderer. I mean, I want to take you down, don't I? Oh, no, no, the commander's over there. Okay. All right, the Wanderer leader has been defeated. Ooh, we got a big box of gold. Thank you for your merciful aid. You're welcome, sir. You are welcome, my 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 dude. Oh, oh god, what is he doing now? What, dude? What do you? No. Get back. Get back. Oh god, he's he's doing stuff. 
Dude, don't don't fight in Nobunaga Oda. Dude, you're leaving the gate open, man. I think we want to win and, and defeat Nobunaga Oda, but getting that angle though. Get him. I mean, I don't think we have enough strength to actually defeat him. I should move. Oh. Did I jump over it? Was I actually skilled enough to... Uh oh Alright, we got eight seconds. There's no way Yatsu's got enough uh, oomph to, to take him down. Alright, time's up. Battle's over. We made it through. At least we survived. But it looked like we got a lot of B rating. Somewhere in that range. <sighs> well, again, we took one of our weaker characters, right? The best defense was the achievement we got there. Okay. The only objective that came out. Uh, okay, we got an A rating. The receiver rank reflecting how well you did in battle. The rank is based on the score earned during battle plus bonuses according to your base's remaining defenses. And the remaining time. The higher your rank, the better the rewards. Uh, do, what, what, do we know how our defenses held out? or? Eh, still, I feel like we did okay. And he gained a little bit of a level. And he gained a little bit of a level, too. Still a far cry, though. Still got a long way to go. All right, the dojo can now be upgraded. Select upgrade building from inside the building to proceed. <laughs> Excellent work. Oh, it looks like you've acquired some materials. Gold and materials are needed to upgrade your buildings. The building levels you can raise are determined by your My Castle rank. Your My Castle rank increases as you progress through Muso mode, play in various modes, and upgrade your buildings. Yes. The materials you can acquire differ depending on the battlefield. If you're in need of a specific material, be sure to select the right battlefield. Makes sense. You can unlock new playable characters and battles in Citadel mode by progressing through Muso mode. If you want to try out new characters and take on even tougher battles, keep playing through Muso Hi. mode. Whew, I believe I told you all there is to tell. Fight bravely as you venture forth. I will be in the shop cheering you on from the sidelines. Thank you, Seiya. Materials are now in stock at the shop. The dojo is upgradable. It's like troops... Well, this isn't what is this oh that's interesting so we are able to select troops to huh switch attack these are the equipped units I can actually equip other units if I wanted to Okay, so we have a foot soldier, a spear, and an archery. And if we wanted to switch it out, requirements to... Okay, 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 I kind of get it. And upgrade the building. Yeah, we'll upgrade it to level two. All right, little castle on the hill. All right, took us some gold. Now we need a lot of lumber, uh, minerals, and fabric. Can be used to raise a character's level from 25 to 35. Can be used to raise a weapon mastery rank from C up to B. Okay. I'm going to go to the select troops thing again. I just want to see. What, what did it say here? Upgrade spear squadron to level 2. How do you do that? Well, I suppose we'll figure it out. Uh, officer training. Okay. Nothing. We can really do that. 
Uh, we'll go to the shop real quick. Does she have anything to say to us? No. Okay. We could maybe upgrade the building here if we had the materials. Okay, that kind of all that. makes sense. Kind of all comes together, and then we can march and do a new battlefield if we wanted. Prelude to the Battle of the Nagara River. You know what? This was kind of quick. Why don't we try it again? We'll just do another one of these for this episode, and then we'll, we'll call a close to it. All right. I mean, was not a big fan of how that went down. I think to bring in Mitsuhide as our main might be a better idea. Um, let's see. What levels do we have? Six, five, seven. Of course, Nobunaga is eight or nine. Yeah. Ah, why not build up with uh, Nobunaga? They are the two highest levels right now. The unit summoned in Citadel mode can be changed before a battle from the equipment menu or at the dojo. Okay. Get a grasp of the characteristics of the different soldiers to gain a valuable asset in battle. Summon your favorite unit or the best unit for the battlefield you want to conquer. Okay. After a certain number of soldiers have been summoned, the unit will be strengthened. The unit's abilities will be enhanced and the number of troops as well as the methods of attack will increase. In addition, strengthening certain units and upgrading my castle will make new units available to select. How do you summon the units? Huh. Uh huh. They, they didn't really say how to summon the units, did they? Well, it says more units will be summoned, but it didn't say how. It, is it? Uh, I must defend this land. Repeat the enemy and aim high. Enemy's first unit is advancing. We're just taking these guys down as quickly as we can. Summons, ah, here we go. Summon soldiers to inflict serious damage on your enemies. Uh, unit selection, summon soldiers. Okay, summon soldiers will continue to fight in position. For some time passes, you'll be able to summon soldiers again. That's interesting. Okay. I'm here for it. You know what? Here we go. Hey, hey, get back here. Objective, all right. Allied officers are in grave peril. Rescue them. I can make that a reality, I suppose. Oh, this dude just walked up on me and started swinging. He just like swanging. All right. Oh, ah. I was in the midst of an attack when you just rolled up on me, my friend. Do not appreciate that. Jumping out of the way here. Hold this, and you're done. Alright, a lot of stuff coming here. See if you guys enjoy this. Alright, so we're, we're bringing out these soldiers and we're able to actually kind of do this. Now... I am not going incredibly quick here. Getting through. Speed the enemy officers as they're coming through. We're pretty close. We're probably going to run into them. Like right here. Oh, we should be running into where, where are they? Oh, there they are. Hello. Oh, there's two of you. At the same time. All right. Go ahead and take you down. Well, at least I thought that's what I was doing. Apparently that was not what I was doing. Okay, we're kind of getting molly whopped here. Alright. Going for this. Get him, Mitsuhide! Alright, 
And we're also getting over to help our friend, which is great. He does not seem to enjoy this very much. There we go. All right, we saved him. Enemy commander has appeared attacking the full scale or launching a full scale assault. It's all right. Silence an enemy officer. We only have a D rating right now. We still got two minutes and some change to kind of make up for that. Oh, we just got hit. That didn't ruin our combo though, strangely. I mean, I would have expected it to. Another objective has been unlocked. Okay. Now what? Use an ultimate skill to defeat enemy troops within the time limit. Alright, we gotta get going. We gotta we gotta go with Uri Day we hustling, hustling. Uri Day we hustling. Alright. You guys enjoy getting dropped off there. And then I just realized I kinda went the, the wrong direction. Come on, horsey. Hopefully we get a little bit of uh, assistance here. Like a little bit of experience for our horse. Like I'm trying. Horse is not overwhelmingly fast, but there we go, we found him. All right. Oh my god, the camera angle. You just fought me in like the worst, gosh, the worst possible place I can fight you at. Or I can't see anything because of the camera angle. It's like, no! Why would you do that? I don't know that we had a an ultimate move there, though. So I'm a little concerned about that, because I definitely don't think we did. Guards have been defeated, and the gate to the base is open. Hurry. Oh no. I see that. Oh, but not a Oga. Oda, dude. What are you doing? We left you here as the as the like the huckleberry to keep everything going. You just sort of failed. All right. I don't know if that's like an ultimate skill or what that is, but all right. We have defeated 400 foes somehow, even though we have a 700 plus uh, combo going. All right, we made it up into the B rating. That feels pretty nice. All right, time is up. The battle's over. Let's we'll say we got a B rating out of all of this. It's not too bad. I mean, I don't think we moved into an A rating. It looked like our defenses kind of got mollywopped a little bit there too. We didn't really get the branch out too far. Use an ultimate skill, ultimate destruction. I gotta get a little bit more used to doing the ultimate skills because I know that like that rage mode's a thing that's available. I don't remember how to do that. We'll figure it out as we go. But hey, look, our uh, foot soldier, spear, and archery squad all went up, and the spear went up by two levels. So we have a level two, level three, and a level two. The long spear squadron, the shield squadron, the rifleman squadron, and the ninja unit have all been unlocked, which is pretty sick. All right, I, I like that. That's kind of neat. And the katana mastery, or weapon mastery rank D is achieved. Stock weapon mastery acquired. 1500, okay. And we got a gem for attack speed, vitality, and principles of war times three. All right, I think overall, uh, oh, and the Odachi weapon mastery moved up to C from uh, Nobunaga Oda. All right, got a resolve and principles of war. Big stock mastery. Odachi with Mastery C, a new ultimate skill acquired. Hit square to confirm. 
I mean, I, I didn't hit square to confirm. I hit X because I thought maybe it was going to show me what it was, but it did not do that. It's all right, though. I'm here for it. I guess we'll go see if we can't figure out what the ultimate skill is real quick. All right, uh, so let's let's look at our character here. So, Nobunaga Oda here. He's got a unique attack. So, square, triangle, triangle is one. Square, triangle, tri well, hold on. How, do, how does that make sense? So you do square, triangle, tri... Oh, never mind. Okay. Square, triangle, triangles, one. Square, square, triangle, triangles, two. Okay, it makes sense. I'm sorry. I'm, I, was, I was, like, very confused for a second. I'm like, what? Then square, triangle, or square, square, triangle, or square, square, square. Okay. Uh, that all makes sense. Uh, aerial attack. I mean, that's it. How do we know about our... Our other thing. How do we... Officer training... Acquire skill. Oh. Yeah, that's right. We've got all this stuff that we can do. I, I completely forgot that this was a thing. Uh, I say, I, I've played this relatively consistently, but the gap between each episode is a little bit longer than I'd like. Hopefully at some point I'll get a, a chance to play like three or four in a chunk, and that is going to help me out a lot because I'll be able to be like, okay, I get it now. I understand everything. And we're still learning, right? There's still things that we're, we're getting new. Change equipment. Is that really what this is? This the ultimate skills here. Okay, finish him with an ultimate skill. The ultimate skill is it? Okay, it was that. That's what that's what I thought it was. And we got a new one called Flash Judgment, and it looks like it's a horse based. Oh no, it's effective against horse based enemies. Uh, Pride. What does this do? Increase our attack strength and acceleration. Increase your speed. Helm splitters leap in the air and the pulse. I've not really been in love with the pulse. Strike with great power all rushing forward. I think that's just a better version of the same thing, so. Also, to be honest, I would kinda oops. I think I'd kinda prefer Flash Judgment to be there. Yeah, I think I prefer that. Okay. Got it. All right, see, I'm starting to get it all. It's all coming together. All right, folks, in the next episode, we are going to continue with Muso mode, and we're going to march on out and do another big old mission. Uh, it's nice to see that Citadel mode does something. There's upgrading your castle, which is a whole new element that I haven't quite experienced before. Again, I'm not that familiar with the latest like section or chunk of the Dynasty Warriors games or the Samurai Warrior games as a whole, so... Uh, I get to see kind of all this stuff, really a lot of it for the first time, while still hearkening back to the stuff that I am used to. So it, it's pretty cool. I like it a lot. Anyway, folks, that's going to do it for this episode. I really hope you guys enjoyed. I really like this game a lot. I, I'm looking forward to playing it every time I get a chance to. And I hope that I get a chance to play, like a big, like I said, a big chunk of it. Get into the game, get used to it, and then it just becomes something that I, I call back into memory while I'm playing. Not have to be like, okay, I learned that last time, but how did that work again? We'll see. It'll all come together, folks. Anyway, take care of yourselves. Have a fantastic day, or evening, morning, whatever it is that you're doing. Hope you guys are enjoying it. And until the very next episode, I've been your host, Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by the Freak Show. We play, we fight, we conquer.